Hello everyone. Welcome to my new series 0 to 1 mil where I start from $0 and try to make 1 million from it. The reason why I chose to do this series is because I wanted to see if it's possible to actually make money online or all these videos by people like 10x income by Aheza and others making it seem too easy and giving people false motivation and taking advantage of that. And also I want to make money. Some ground rules for this challenge. 1. I can only spend money that I make. 2. We'll be trying to stick to online as much as possible. That's it for the rules. No I have some prior experience I actually tried to start a dropshipping website called PetPad and gave myself $50 for ads. I took a lot of time on making the website look good and I managed to get a total of 2 sales. However it was a net loss. I spent $50 on ads and $10 on the Shopify subscription. So I only managed to make a net loss of negative $30. What I learned from this experience is that. Most side hustles require some way to advertise and promote your product whether it's through ads or flyers or email marketing or search engine optimization. Think about it. You need to find somebody else to want to buy your product. But the issue is I want to start this challenge without spending any money to start off with and all advertising requires money. So when I was looking for side hustles or gigs, it had to involve no advertising because I did not want to spend any money in Tali. I started by doing some research via YouTube videos and the first side hustle I thought was viable was journalism via chat GPT. Most websites will pay you around $1 a word so you can make some money pretty quickly. So a 1000 word blog would be $1000. I can't remember exactly what YouTube made a video that I watched about this. But basically what you do is you first go to this Google Doc in the description of the content creator's video, which will also be in the of the description of this video https colon slash slash docs.google.com slash document slash u slash zero slash d slash one uc zero rgc three six two and two four voFx one six lots two or underscore bbyl six zero l two nyume slash mobile basic. After you do that you pick a random news publisher from that list. In this case I started out with AARP. Then you search for articles that you think would work for that news publisher. Copy and paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite it. Then ask ChatGPT to write a pitch for you as if you were pitching this to the journalism site. Copy and paste that pitch and send it to the person who receives pitches for that website. And then you wait. Long story short I did these so many times I did like at least 5 different pitches towards multiple websites. Until one finally replied. I was so excited I thought I was finally able to make money online however when I opened the email I was disappointed it read. Hi my personal name and thanks for the pitch. Unfortunately, your idea is not a good fit for us. The location is famous for this and there is no potential for a narrative feature which is what we do in your pitch. Best of luck placing it elsewhere. I immediately sent a reply saying. Can you give me an example of a good pitch? I'd really like to write for you. They responded with. Here are our pitch guidelines. We do not share pitches among writers. Before and after this there were automated emails and then no response to follow up even saying that my pitch was declined. This was the only one who replied. The reason why this side hustle failed is because all of the journalism articles are looking for a story or some sort of narrative or story if you will that ties in with the article you're writing. You can't just write a series of facts about something. It has to be a lot more interesting in that. ChatGPT does not make interesting stories that are able to incorporate factual information. I realized that pretty quickly and I quit submitting pitches pretty quickly. Maybe it would work and I could just get really lucky but that was too rare of a chance for me. For this to work I would have to actually learn journalism which would take a lot of time and effort. Or hire someone on Upwork or Fiverr which would require some capital. Back to the drawing board I guess. A bit more research later I found my next promising side hustle. It was a website called Study Pool. The concept of it is you put your class notes or homework exe exe into the website wait for it to get approved. After that you just get paid up undisclosed amount per view. What I did was use ChatGPT to make like 5 different class notes about various topics and just submitted them to the website. About a day later they all got accepted but zero views for any so so far no money. The final side hustle I tried for this YouTube video was called Amazon KDP Kindle Direct Publishing. 
It says KDP allows you to self-publish ebooks, paperbacks, and hardcover books for free. All I had to do was to make books via ChatGPT and publish them on Amazon and wait for sales to come in. Amazon would do all the advertising and promotion for me. The YouTube video I mentioned this recommended making a children's book using Midjourney AI that makes really good images for the pictures in ChatGPT to make the script. The ChatGPT part was easy but when I went to use Midjourney it had started to cost money. Not wanting to throw away all the progress I made I broke the only rule for this challenge and paid $10 to use it. It was really slow and took forever to make all the images I needed but eventually it made it. I threw all the pieces together and published it as a ebook to Amazon. 20 hours later it got published. No sales yet. I wanted to see my book live on the storefront and realize it I was not the first to do this. There had been at least 20 other books with the same exact or similar title to mine all using images from Midjourney AI. An important learning experience happened. I learned that for Amazon KDP to work I had to stand out I can't be in a saturated market. This goes for all entrepreneurship business. I did not want to give up Amazon KDP so I tried one more book it was called 4 Thrillers for Young Adults I made the cover look decent too. Still waiting for this one to get published though. That's it for episode 1. We ended with negative $10. There is a few other minor things I tried like singing up to donate your own poop you would get paid $500 or putting images on this website and pray that someone buys them. But those really were not worth mentioning in this video. In conclusion the key takeaways are intrunership is not a easy thing to do. It requires an enormous amount of luck and some skill. To get rid of that luck part you will be spending $500 promoting whatever you are trying to sell. It's also really hard to find actually good info about making money online because I've noticed that most people who make YouTube videos about this topic are just trying to sell some online course or whatever that will guide you to your first successful dropshipping website. In other words, they are trying to profit off of your desire to make money. Thanks for watching my bad video, please like and subscribe. And most importantly please give me ideas on how I can profit.